I need 12 inches from sports now. Sounds like a personal problem. Move your ass, sports. Deadline's in five. Be considered about my feelings, what I'm going through. Oh, Shannon, line one. Voicemail. Uh, she sounds kind of, uh... Voicemail. Hi, Shannon. Yeah, no, you just missed him. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Yeah, she's gonna call you on your, uh... Who are we waiting on? What do you think? God damn it, sports. So you and Shannon going to Cancun for the honeymoon, right? Woo! Whatever you got, I'd send it right now. Bo? Bo, I'm not shitting you, dude. Harry's on the fucking page, Chief. Cooper, where's my goddamn girl's prep roundup? Senate. How long is it? Long enough. Oh, no. Just... And you were gonna doubt him. <laughs> uh, Chief? Get me his cell. Here you go. You guys are all too voted to uh, come pick you up, so they sent me, man. How you been? Great, how are you? You know, SSTD, dude. Same shit, different day. You got any bags or anything? Come on, dude. Come on, man. Welcome to your bachelor party weekend, dude. Yeah, come on, man. Woohoo, dude. Woohoo, man. Bringing that closer to you like AT&T Information you need in your cranium It's like titanium cold hard steel You know we're bringing up a signal down I wear the crown of the kingdom of food You can call me Dr. RL, faculty at you Damn, you never seen a cracker quite like me I'm like a red stack with smoked ham and top with green I never seem to get my feel That's the deal, ain't no pill Make you feel like I'm on the feel high I said that right when we was baiting the trap Making a snap, crack a pop and taking a nap Watching the A-team Hannibal and BA2 Cause when a plan come together, what we do is what we do what we do is what we do. 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 And then there was that time when Jigs almost got in a fight because he broke that table. And then, and then, there was that time when G put down like a thousand dollars on that blackjack table. Have you seen G? <laughs> no, no. I've been pretty, pretty busy though. You know, stuff. So you're the second feller to get married, dude! A third, if you count me. Congratulations. Oh, we're divorced now. No biggie, no biggie, you know. It was mutual for the best. What the fuck, man? Sorry, dude, I just remembered. I gotta piss like a garden hose. How about you, man? You got a squirt? I think I just did. What? Oh. <laughs> you didn't really, did you? Oh, what we do, what we do. What we do, what we do. So this is it, man. The big send-off from Bachelorsville. Last chance to dance. Getting some cheap pants and romance, dude! <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, you just need to go crazy, man. You need to go balls to the wall. These are gonna be the memories you remember for the rest of your life. After this, it's just marriage, wife, kids, bills, work, guck. Hold up, dude. Ow. You want some gum or? Holy shit. Holy shit! Holy shit! What are you doing? I'm calling the cops. What? 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 The cops, your car, my shit, the cops. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's something. Okay, okay. We're pretty sure the car was stolen, right? I mean, it's gone. Okay, but what else do we know, huh? We know it happened when we were in the bathroom, right? And where does that leave us? Where does that leave us? It, it leaves us in the middle of a fucking gas station in the middle of fucking Oakland. It also leaves me without my fucking luggage, my fucking laptop, and pretty much my fucking life. Okay? Did you back up your files? It's cool. No. No, it is cool. It's not cool. Okay. It's not cool. I'm fucking cool, you little Ooh. bitch! Hey, don't, don't. I drank too. Oh, that's right, Cece. You take it up the rear too. Good boy. <laughs> Shut up! Jigs, where's Monique tonight, dude? Nah, she's out with some of her friends doing something. She's gonna be pissed about all this? Nah, I can handle it. Oh, oh, oh drink! Oh, drink! Drink! Bro, oh, come here! Drink every time! What a fucking <laughs> bitch! <Yeah>. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you guys. Oh, 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 oh. What's up, my man? Oh shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. 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 talking about kicking your ass. <laughs> Can't take the ball right now. Gregory, by the way. Sir. Fuck better off flag. So how you doing, bro? Uh, you know. Last minute wedding shit, chafing your hide yet? Ah. You're a wise man if we leave that stuff up to Shannon, seriously. Yeah, whatever. So how's the job? Same shit, man. Still covering prep. Have you uh, have you sent any more TV demos lately? No, I got offered a job in like uh, BF Iowa, <laughs> but uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I got a couple other demos out there, and just waiting on the sweets to come through. Dude, G said he was coming tonight, right? Dude, chill. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm, I'm just being a grommet, huh? Yep. <laughs> He's been a hard man to get a hold of lately since he got cut by the Raiders. Dude, football meant everything to him. Oh yeah, and it was meaningless to you. Ah. I would probably have more to me if Coach Hackett didn't have that policy against scrawny Jews on his team. <laughs> scrawny Jews? Yeah. Wasn't that a California legislature 437? Yeah, I think yeah, that was it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Hackett, gosh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bullshit. Bullshit! You better hit back to block. I did. Your stupid thing's broken. No, you play like a fucking spaz. Ba, 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 ba. So Coach Hack is still AD, right? Sure. I see if I go on a talk to him. About what? I've got a fun game. Let's play punch jigs in the face. Oh. You guys suck. Ooh. Now we're gonna have some real fun, you pussy. <laughs> I know you're going to. Cecil, ladies and gentlemen. Great. That, that's really neat. <laughs> yeah. Now, why, why did Jigs start bringing him around again? Oh, it gives Jigs an easy target and Cecil gets to feel accepted. Something's never changed. Hey, man, I got a little present for you. Hang on. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> Tip. Oh yeah, oh, tough. That's crazy. I can't drink. It's my bachelor party week. Come on, don't like him. Drink up. <laughs> Not an honor. Pour him out. Pretend like we drank him. Nope, nope. This one's the old bow. It's one last crazy ass week of partying. Seriously, man. Congratulations. It's good to have somebody else in the club. Other one down, Matt. Dark Matt. Oh! Where the hell is she, man? She's not a fella anymore. Donkey. Oh, you okay, my man? Oh, oh, no, Timber! <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm tripping, okay? It's been a while since I've seen you guys. Okay? Oh, that's right. Dude, no. Just complete the Zalgi. Once Saturday comes around, you'll feel the food better, seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna pour this shit out. Thanks, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Lane Jake, seriously. I can handle it, just keep it to a dull roar. Big Daddy's going down for that smack down. Yeah, what are you doing? Dude, money, fucking dope. Sit down, sit down. Chill, dude. Dude, dude, chill. Seriously. God damn it. Gentlemen. Smackdown's about to begin. I showered. So this was my cologne of choice in college. I'm sure it was adorable then. We need to hurry. All right, chill, chill. Hey, chicks. I'm in here. Obviously, hurry up. I gotta take a cruncher. in the way of progress. Oh, God! I love him for his morning brightness. Can we go now? Yes. Is he gonna be okay? Totally. Woo! Jesus! Bo, 
Jig said to help yourself to anything that looks like it won't give you food poisoning. <laughs> like to poison you. Ow! Anyway, I got a chill ride to work today from Heather, so you can enjoy my car to bust around in. Sure, sure. Hope you had fun last night. Yeah, a lot of fun. Okay. Honor, honor. Hook up with me, Jigs, and possibly G at Fuds for lunch at 12.30. Good seeing you, bro. Late tip. Hey, is that you, champ? Hey, Coach Millman. Hey, hold it, hold it, hold it up here. <laughs> How are you? Hey, when did you get in? Last night. How's the sports scene in San Diego? Ah, sorry, still covering prep. Ah, better than a poke in the eye, huh? Yeah, just barely. Hey, um, I should probably get going. I still haven't been home. Okay, champ. Hey, come on by my classroom. I'm sure Coach Hacker would like to see you, too. Okay. trip down. Ah, you know, standard peanut and soda fare. No <laughs> oh, well, yeah. we got sausage and the juicers and daddy's special rolls. Well, I thought those were just for Christmas. Hey, wow. who says? <laughs> we make them for special occasions and I think this qualifies. Yeah. In fact, daddy's made two kinds. We want to know which ones you want us to make for the post-reception brunch on Sunday. Okay. Oh, it's so good to have you home. It's good to be home. My two favorite guys in all the world. I just love it. <laughs> now, Grandma called my mom mm. this morning, and she wants to know where she's going to be sitting at the rehearsal dinner. Well, I said I didn't know. Mom, do you mind if I put my stuff away in my room first? Well, yes, I mind. Of course not. Your room is just the way it always is. Uncle Tim and Aunt Rachel are flying in Saturday morning. We told them they could stay with us, you know, just crash out on the couch, no biggie, but they wanted to stay in a hotel, so that's that. We went to Costco yesterday and we really loaded up for the brunch. Two cases of champagne. I thought we could make mimosas. Does that sound good, Bo? Do you think your friends are gonna want more beer? I think we should get another case just to be on the safe side. I still haven't had RSVPs from a lot of your friends, Mr. Bo. What I want you to do is get on the phone this morning and call around and find out exactly Mom. who's gonna be there Mom. for sure. You know, it's common courtesy, Mom. and I think the guys are just still. Mom. What, honey? The wedding's off. What? I called it off the day before yesterday.
I just don't know what we're going to do about all this. Do you understand what I just said? Yes. You called off the wedding. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. Just the wedding. My wedding. Just the alleged biggest day of my life. That's all. Bo, honey, there are a lot of other people involved here. Well, how many of them are more important to you than me? Bo! But Jesus Christ, Mom! Hey, wait a minute. I don't want to hear that in this house. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, all thanks and praise be to thee. Right, Mom? Jesus Christ! So, uh, where'd you get your GED? I didn't. I thought you said you got your high school equivalency instead of, you know, graduating? Oh, yeah. I took that. I thought it was called something else, though. Yeah. Can I ask how I did on the math section? I was kind of nervous. Right, uh, right, um, well, it, it wasn't the strongest point on your application, but, yeah, I, I think we can work something out. I got the job? Yeah, yeah, I, I think we can work something out. Oh, yay! <laughs> um, so, uh, look, uh, I'll give, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call with your work schedule, all right? You want my number? N no, um, you, it's on your applicate. Yeah. 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 Uno, dos, one, two, tres, Tasty breakfast of champions. Earliest start ever for the bachelor party. So did you order yet? I meant grub. Nah. Order me a tasty old chicken sandwich. Give me a sandwich too. We'll split a basket of fries. No, no, no. Am I your bitch? Is that a question? What's up, man? Oh, yeah. yeah. What's up? Ah, <sighs> oh, looking good, bro. How long a lunch break you get, man? As long as I want. Today's a chill half day. Sure, I would uh, you? Where's G? I gotta talk to that fuck. I left him a message. Uh, you okay, bro? Yeah. Shaving hangover. Called off the wedding. Meat? Are, are you fucking with me? No. W what happened? I don't know. Just can't, just can't do it. What? What happened? Oh, uh, I don't know, Tip. <laughs> We just kept fighting about the same shit. Fuck it. It's also tired to count out a chill passing, so I snaked it. Ah. Mm. Bo called off the wedding. How come? So uh, how come? Because I'm lame. <laughs> so you dumped you, huh? Fuck you, I broke up with her. Isn't there any chance of reconciling? Can't you talk about it? We've talked so fucking much. No. Well, what have you guys been fighting about? Tell you what the last fight was about. I mean... She was tripping. She was tripping so bad, just screaming and yelling about everything. Deal with me. You gotta, you gotta help me. I need you to, you know, take care of my shit. I'm like, oh my gosh. She blocked the door. I couldn't move her. And I'm, I'm freaking, you know, fucking, can't you, can't you see how bad this is? How... How and I, I called the police. I called the police on myself because I wanted to fucking get arrested. I wanted to have a peaceful night in jail. And she, you know, she pulled the cord out of the wall. I moved her as carefully as I could. I didn't want to hit her, but I swear to God, it's like she wanted she wanted an excuse. She wanted me to hit her. I finally got one step out the door. Did she hit you? Yeah. And that was the third time. Well, she spaced him out over the five years we did, you know, <laughs> once every year and a half or so. I tell you, if Monique ever did anything like that to me, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you okay? Of course he's okay. She had five foot nothing. She couldn't bruise my ass. So, wait a second. 
bachelor party. Jesus, Jigs. It's on. Yeah. Excuse me? Yes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this would be the first time I'll have gone out. Like, legitimately gone out in five fucking years. Oh, come no, on. No, no, you guys paid for a party. Let's have a fucking party to celebrate the fact that I am not getting married. Sweet! But you gotta bust it like it's still your legit bachelor party, all right? And then you gotta totally play it off like it's your last night of freedom so you can sense the freshest sympathy skeezers of all time, huh? Best idea ever! Oh. Sure, sure. Give it up, baby. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> What's up with you, fool? You down, you just too cool. It's your party. Goddamn right, it's my party. Better reckon on, bitch. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Cecil. Looks like a rainbow puked on you. Oh, <laughs> I was just stopping by to see if we were still meeting in your place of sex. <laughs> yeah, uh, why don't you uh, <laughs> drop it around nine? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Randall speaking. Randall? <laughs> now? All right, yeah, I'll be right there. Ill. I gotta go back to the school for a grommet teacher's meeting. I forgot to sense my car, Bo. Can you give him a lift, Jigs? I can take him over there. I deliver pizza there all the time. Cool, man. So I'll see you at Jigsy's at six? Sure, sure. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> what? You look nice. Thanks. Maybe a little too nice. Come here. thinking? Oh, I don't know. It's just kind of psycho that he called it off. It sounds like it was for the best. Yeah, I guess. Anything else? No. We'll talk later. I gotta get going anyway. What time will you be home? I don't know, one or two. On a school night. I'm a big boy. I know. Besides, tomorrow's another half day. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Father and I were wondering uh, what your plans are. I mean, we want to give you your space, of course, but you need to understand that there are a lot of other people involved here. A lot of family has made plans to come a long way, and we just need to be a little considerate of them. What do you want me to do? Uh, Shannon called. Uh, she sounded pretty... Upset. Maybe you could Shannon just. Shannon is not a topic of discussion. Well, what happened that was so. I'll call whoever you need me to call tomorrow, I promise. I guess that's. Where are you off to tonight? Going out with the fellas. Anything else? Have fun. Hey, dude, we gotta make a random stop at my place. Why? Oh, I don't know, Bo. Must be something bad. Ah! I got you a random bachelor party gift. Can we inflate it later? No, no, gotta be now. Foggy, well, look, if we don't. <laughs> Jig said if we don't. <laughs> Jig said if we don't. <laughs> Jig said if we don't. <laughs>
was really necessary. Totally. Don't worry. I'll bust you the fastest read you've ever had. Okay, real quick. The cars don't have any mystical powers or anything, but they do offer chill reflection. They ask questions and offer possibilities. And it's up to you to play connect the dots with the actual events in your life. Whoa. What? The tower is a powerful card. I thought you said the cards didn't have any power. Well, they don't. Well, actually, okay, the tower signifies sudden change, and when it's reversed, it's even more powerful. This could mean the sudden end of selfishness, or false ambitions, or imprisonment. Or it could be the big chafer. Oh, neat! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, this could signify the death of an old self or an old relationship with the tower. Yeah, which is a very powerful card. Especially when it's reversed. This could mean the narrow escape from a problem. Thank God for that. Or it could literally mean death. Can we go now? You are anxious, guys, Papa. Huh. Huh, what? Give me a second. Know your true friends by the support they give you in a new adventure. Obviously, it's talking about me. I'm your ace of swords. And what's the new adventure? Your bachelor party. Thanks. I feel incredibly enlightened. Right. Let's go, Ace. I can do your acupuncture later. No. See? Oh. You need it. Your chi is chafing. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't smell your piss on it. <laughs> Hi! What are you doing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Well, actually, tonight is my bachelor party. Shannon are finally getting married. That that's that's great, Bob. No, that, no. that's great. I mean, <laughs> Jen, why don't you listen very carefully to me? We, <laughs> Shannon and I, are not getting married. <laughs> really? Really. Hmm. <laughs> ah, fiddle dit. What? Chafin' Jennifer Juggs. Thought we already got him as whore for the evening. Can I get a water? Hey guys, look who I found. 
<laughs> it's amazing what shows up when you're not looking for it. What was that, Jamie? It's so nice to see you. So, uh, got a little something here, fellas. Oh, uh, yeah, she's all. <laughs> To uh, old friends, some who look even better than I remember. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke. And, and, to my bachelor party. My first, and may it be my last. What the fuck is that? Are you chill? Oh, I didn't realize it was ladies' night. Oh, little tip, you gotta drink some water for the wifey? Is your foot swollen? Faggot! Shove those huge tits in his face. If you ask me, they're a little too big. <laughs> what? What a dick. <laughs>
multiple times, huh, Jen? Chill, chill, it doesn't matter. Look, it does fucking matter. You tell me a little piece of shit kicked my ass? I didn't say it kicked your ass, I said it won the fight. Why are we having this discussion? Jake started it. Look, Bo, who cares who hit who? Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me he won a fight? No. Muggy. No way, I'm your ace. What about you, Cecil? No. Okay, so there you go, I won a fight. I disagree. Check the scorecard, Jackass 3 1. There was no winner. It was stupid. It wasn't even a fight. Punch was thrown, it landed. It was a fight. I could have broken his face when I had him on a table. You know what? He didn't. Yeah, Jiggs, I didn't. You know what else? I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't lose my fucking composure when I could have! Fuck you, Jiggs. Both. Let him go. What? Let him go! Fuck no. You're a cock. Relax, man. <laughs> Relax, it's me, G. Stay put. Stay put, man. I'll be right back.
Randy. Randy. What? You're gonna be late. I'm all right. Honey, it's 7.30. Let me put that there. Randy? Yeah? How was last night? Well, you know. No, I don't. <sighs> Just classic fellow stuff. I mean, I probably drank a little more than I should have, but I suppose weak. Still? <sighs> well, no, but he needed a night. I mean, this was like his first real night as a free man to go out with the fellers in a long time. <clears throat> oh, a free man. <sighs> Honey. This has nothing to do with us. I'm very happy with where we're at in our life right now. I love you. Okay? I love you too. Great. Well, honey, I'm going to lunch with the girls. Now, I've left a list on the counter of people I'd like you to call today, please. Uh, Randy called. Yeah. He's Randy to me. Anyway, he wanted to know if you still want to play basketball today. See you later. Well? Bo, I know you aren't really homeless. You just look that way. Hey, meet me up at the Joshua Tree tonight. Gee. Say so. Hayes are in New York. Hudson and Clemens. What's the score? Zip zip. Bottom of the third. Rough night. Yeah, you know. Hold the dog. Your mother left a list for you. I saw it. Dad, go out! Get out! Get way out! I hate when they do that. Make a hit sound more than what it really is. It's a pretty good poke. Dad, what do you think about what I'm doing? I don't know what you mean. Calling off the wedding. I assume you have a good reason for doing so. You do what's best for you. Strike three calls. Giambi is livid. He better be careful. Or wait a minute. Here comes Art Howe separating the two, and now Howe is getting the ump a piece of his mind. Oh man. Agree or disagree with the call? I'll tell you. I think it's important for a manager to get out there and stick up for his player once in a while to keep him out of trouble, sure, but also to show the player he's got a manager that will go to war with him. Hi, Aunt Rochelle. It's Bo. Yeah, uh, that, that's why I'm calling. It's actually, it's, um, it's kind of bad news. Tell you what, girls want to be treated shitty. Really? Totally. My mom always told me, you get what you give. Your mom's <laughs> a crack whore. 
Shut up. That's <laughs> bullshit. I mean, the worse I treat Monique, the more she likes it. <laughs> Monique's a fucking psycho crack whore. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, excuse me. to be the assistant manager. Money. Switch for this one. Give me a break. This guy's pretty good. <laughs> 15.2 seconds, four laps. Hit the button, monkey boy. On your mark, set, go! Getting old, bro. Speak for yourself. Yeah, I'll meet you at the car. Looks like Coach Hackett had a heart attack. people on this list like I asked you to? Bo, honey, this is important. A lot of people have made plans surrounding this wedding, and I think... Coach Hackett's dead, Mom. What? He had a heart attack today. He's dead. Oh, honey. 
Oh. <laughs> I was going to talk to <laughs> Just want to talk to oh, oh, I know, honey. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You can have a slice if you want, just shove it back together so it looks whole. No thanks. Can't believe Coach is dead. I'll never forget, I was gonna try out for the team and I couldn't get the pads to fit in the right places in my pants. He asked if I'd mind being equipment manager and I thought, how am I gonna manage this equipment if I don't even know where the hell it goes. <laughs> Do you like Coach? Yeah. Yeah. He was... He was kind of like the father I never had. Funny, I was just thinking the same thing. You shower. Shut up, What's up, Bo? You hear about Coach? Yeah. I was there today when it took away in the ambulance. You okay? Yeah, you know, I mean, just kind of messed up. Another fun news, my wedding's off. Yeah, I heard. And now you ask me what happened? Gee, what the fuck is up with you, man? I mean, you don't respond to my calls, you don't reply to my emails, it's like, you try to write me off, I have no idea what I did. Look, man, I haven't talked to anybody lately. I know. Really, Bo. <laughs> Bo, I had to make some changes in the way I think, man, so... I'll tell you what, man, why don't you tell me what's up with you first? <laughs> Freaking out, I mean, obviously. Everything I thought was gonna be in my life isn't. This is not where I was gonna be when I turned 30. Where were you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be married for one. 2.5 kids, SUVs, and live in suburbia, and white picket fence. Me and Shannon were supposed to be together, and all of a sudden she started freaking out. She's miserable, and it's my fault. She never graduated from school. She says she's got this, that, and the other with her dad. I bought a fucking night with the guys. What is your problem? Why can't I come out with you guys? Where are her friends? She doesn't have any. You know what? There's a reason. I don't sacrifice for her. She takes everything and gives nothing to me. Well, no, she gives me a lot of fucking pain. You know, I mean, I'm, tell I'm telling her to go to therapy or, you know, take care of whatever she has to do. She's like a fucking Black Widow, where where are you? Where is Shannon in this? I mean, she's fucking psycho. You know, quit sucking my soul. And it's my fault. Everything is everything is my fault. <laughs> Damn. Sounds like you really need to unload. Yeah. You sound hella angry. I mean, you know, with Shannon and everything. I think I have a right to. How long did you guys date? Five years. You want to walk and talk? Sure. you had today? Man, never ask a sports writer how many he's had to drink. You know the thing used to chafe me about Shannon? I mean, more than anything? Damn, there's more? Oh, fuck, they're everything, dude. You can't, I've not even begun to bitch about this, girl. I... You ever heard the idea about life being reflective? I don't know. Idea being that life, people, situations, everything around us mirrors what's going on inside of us. So being angry with somebody can be an example of behavior that you dislike about yourself that you see in someone else. Mm -hmm. What do you like about Shannon? I can say right now, I love her, I guess. I still love her. Is that enough? 
supposed to be. You want to be happy, right? No, I want to be a turtle. That'd be cool. Yes, I want to be happy, but you can't all the time. Life doesn't work that way. Doesn't? No. So you're saying that life by its nature isn't happy part of the time? Yeah, at least part of the time. Hmm. What? Frog and the scorpion. Frog and the scorpion are down at the river, right? Frog's in the water. Scorpion says to the frog, Hey man, can you please give me a ride across the river? Frog says, No way, because you'll sting me and then I'll die. And then Scorpion says, No, I won't, because then I'll die too. Frog thinks about it for a minute, figures the scorpion would never do anything that stupid. So he says, Okay, puts him on his back and they start across the river. Sure enough, they get halfway. Scorpion stings the frog. While the frog is dying, Frog says, Hey man, why you do that? Scorpion says, I couldn't help it. It's in my nature. That's pretty fucking dismal. What's the moral? Nature sucks? Deal with it? That's one way to look at it. But the way I see it is that each of us has like both the frog and the scorpion inside of us with the ability to help us sabotage ourselves. So even if we have something in our nature that's poisonous, we can change it, provided that we're aware of it and that we're honest and we make conscious decisions. Oh, is that all? It's never all, Bo. <laughs> Come on, man. Stupid story. <laughs> <laughs> This victory, Astro, battle two, fight! Hey. So, did you hire any new bimbos to fuck today? I'm not gonna get into that I'm with you. I don't fucking hear it, Jamie! You're lying! Should I bail? Monique? Can I help you? Are you one of the guests? No. Uh, I was uh, supposed to be the man of the hour. I'm Bo Cooper. I think I spoke with you when I called to cancel on Thursday. I'm sorry. still come to this place. It's classic. It's a hole. Your mother's a hole. No mother jokes. Consume. <laughs> okay, Jinx. Hey, you guys remember that random New Year's Eve party we had at my place? Question. Consume. <laughs> totally. G started kicking Cecil because he wouldn't leave him alone. <laughs> no, no. First he punched me, then he kicked me. <laughs> you actually take pride in the way he kicked your ass. <laughs> Kick your ass. Durr. I saw G today. Where? Fuck you and your role, Jigs. Where? Uh, to Joshua Tree. What'd you guys talk about? I don't know. He's changed, man. He had all these stories and fables and life morals and shit. I don't know. I think he's been watching Oprah. Go! Oh, come here. Oh, sweet. Lame. That is no, very below average, Cecil. Let me try it again. You would think with a hook nose like that, it'd just roll right off into the Shut cup. up! How you doing, man, for real? No, yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be the big day. Sounds like you made the right choice. Definitely. You have five more Jaegers and a couple of pitchers. Actually, I make it four. I gotta get going. Wait, it's Friday night, man. 
I know, I know, but... Me and Heather actually have these plans for early in the morning. We're actually gonna go camping with her family. When we heard the wedding was off, she had these plans and, you know... I probably won't see you again before you leave. So this is it, huh? A split between the bachelors and the buried ones? Bo, I'm happy to be married. I'll call you next week. All right, let's go, ladies! Funeral? Nah. Why not? Paid my respects my way. Man, I'd like it if you were there. It'd really help me. We all need to do what we have to do to take care of ourselves, Bo. It's pretty selfish, Gene. That's how you see it. That's how it is. But when are you gonna realize that your view of the world is not the world's view of itself? You shape your world, not mine or anyone else's. You're not here alone. And I don't buy the whole death as a tragedy idea either. Death can be cleansing. All right, so what do you think I should do? Ask your scorpion. A lot of memories out here, huh? Yeah, a lot of great memories, man. You ready to go? I am. God damn it, what is wrong with you? What'd you want to say to coach, man? I wanted to ask coach, man, it's fucking stupid, it's fucking high school. I wanted to ask why I didn't get to play more, okay? I wanted to ask why I spent three years on varsity as great potential. Okay, and what do you think he could say to you now that could Man, possibly I, make a difference? I don't know. What's so wrong with who you are now? Nothing. Then why aren't you happy? What is this obsession with happy? Football was supposed to make me happy. What is your obsession with football? It was who I was, but it ended a piece of me died, okay? Don't tell me it didn't hurt when you got cut by the Raiders. It didn't. Bullshit, it didn't. I didn't get cut, I moved on. Quit? I feel like I got everything No, no, fucking I'm tell me right now, you quit? I didn't want it anymore. Gee, well, fucking how could you, man? You take even one contract, even as a backup, you're set for life. Then what? Then whatever you want. Why not whatever I want right now? You know, when I first got to camp, I was supposed to be a long shot to make it. That's what everybody said. But I was there. I mean, I would have been backup or maybe even practice squad, but I was there. Then I looked around at all those other guys. 
and I just didn't want it anymore. So you quit? No, I no, honestly- No, man, you fucking quit. You had it all and you just fucking pissed it away and for what, man? Jesus Christ, you know what I fucking get for one moment of what you had? The gifts and the talent and all that shit? What do you do with it? You fucking piss it away. For what, G? Where the fuck are you now, man? I'm sitting right here with you, Bo. Oh, God damn, you're an idiot. Let's see what I do right now, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Come on, man, I'll show you. Let's go. Let's go. You stalk? No, man. I work at a daycare after school camp down the road. This is where we take kids when it's nice. You work with kids? Yeah, man. Come by later, round one. Honey, how are you doing? Well, I think I've hit rock bottom and it stinks here. First things first, I want to say I'm very sorry. Oh, hey. Honey. We're totally. I'm sorry I've been such a jerk to you guys. That's all right, honey. Do you think you're ready now to tell us what happened with you and Shannon? It's not like it was one thing, Mom. It's not like she dropped a plate and I went, oh my God, I hate you. Everybody fights. Your father and I fight. It's just that you two always seem so happy together. Well, we made it look good, huh? She can fool a lot of people by smiling and being cute, but behind closed doors, she was miserable. I mean, she never takes risks. She never has fun. She never, she never pursued her dreams. It's like uh, she keeps waiting for someone to tell her what she should do. What? What is it? Excuse me? Fuck, Mom. The word I used was <clears throat> fuck. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, I think I just got a good look in the mirror. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, bro. And you call me a stalker. <laughs> Come on, man, meet the brilliant ones. No. Come on, man, you scared of kids. Oh. <laughs> All right, man, work beckons. <laughs> you mind if I sit down? So how come you're not out there playing? Why aren't you? I get why you do this now, man. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, they get it. They're just having mm -hmm. fun. I'll tell you what, man. You were right about Shannon, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Everything I saw in her that made me mad, I was just a reflection of me. Cool. I think about Coach, too, and uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. You ready to bury that one with him? Just let it go, you know? I don't know exactly what your deal is. I mean, you do, but, but you're just not listening to the part of you that knows. But I think I know what isn't. Football, Coach Hackett, Shannon. See, those are external. Things you drew, like, because. Because what? Exactly. Exactly what? Yes. What are you talking about? What? What? Okay, I give, man. What is what I'm talking about, Bo? You're what? Look, man, you came home for a reason, right? You've been avoiding this for as long as you could. This is where who you thought you were gonna be and who you actually became split.
we all seem pretty broken up. And that's good, because I'm feeling a lot of different things myself. But whatever they are, I'm gonna feel them. I'm gonna explore them and see what they have to teach me. And then I'm gonna let them go. I love Coach Hackett. Note the present tense. Coach Hackett touched a lot of lives in a lot of ways. He helped shape a lot of young boys of this community into men. And for that, I know we're all grateful. the stupidest play I'd ever seen Coach Hackett draw up. He calls it home run. It was impossible. There was no way it was going to work. And then he asked me what I think of it. What did you tell him? I told him it's ridiculous. It'll never work. And we won the championship with it. Yep. Felt like I, like I really didn't belong there today. Why? I'm still angry. You know, sometimes as coaches, we forget the kind of impact we have on you guys' lives. We get caught up with everything that's going on. The wins, the losses, the league, the other coaches. We had a hell of a run when you guys were here. You were a very special group. Did Coach Hackett ever say anything to you about me? No, nah, I never had a bad thing to say about you. You know, champ, when it's all said and done, it's just a game. Hell, they're all just games. Life itself. It's supposed to be fun. Why the hell did Bowen come all the way out here for? Oh, oh, smooth move, that black. Fuck you! Why do you do that shit for? It's in his nature, Cecil. What's up, G? It's really nice up here. Glad you guys recommended it. You guys, you guys want a beer? No, I'm good. No, nah, no thanks. More for us. Hey, what's up, Jigsy? Oh, really, Jigs? How was today? It's tough, man. Everything seems like it's been tough lately, but you know, it's all good. What do you mean? He means he's dealing with that bullshit he's got to go through. You ever hear a subtext? How you doing, G? Where you been? I'm busy working a new gig. Working at the rec center downtown. Is that paying enough for your bills and shit? I'll get by. Probably pays a hell of a lot more than being a pizza boy. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Jigs! Fuck you! Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, Ciso! <laughs> See you at the car! <laughs> I don't have to say bitch. that Cecil won that fight. Shut the fuck up! Nope! He threw the first punch and landed it. I agree, me too. Uh, me three, Jigsy. He whipped your ass. <laughs>
good to offer something. you're looking for. Jeez, we got to talking and all of a sudden it was morning. Oh, isn't that fun? I love catching up with old friends. It's like no time has passed at all. You know, we haven't seen the old G-man around here. Um, I hope you told him he's welcome. He knows. So, how was the funeral? Were there a lot of guys from the team there? It was fine. Coach Millman spoke. Oh, that's special. You know, I ran into his wife in the supermarket the other day. She is so sweet. I'll be in my room. doing? I, uh, I need a few things to, uh, figure out some stuff. So I figured it was about time to change this room up, huh? Well, we should get going in about a half hour. Dad? Hmm? Do you approve of me? I don't know what you mean. Do you approve of me? Of my life, of who I am, of me as your son? I... I love you very much. Do you need help with your bags? No. Okay. Special delivery. Couldn't let you go. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> Look at it. Seriously. <laughs> it's great. Thank you. <laughs> it was going to go over to Jig's house, but he wasn't home. Monique threw him out. She tossed him, dude. Serious? Yeah. Oh, man, what's up? So, uh, Jigs hasn't killed you yet? Screw him. No man, don't do it. He's got herpes. <laughs> hey, Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. Don't know if you remember me. Went to school with Bo here. Uh, you were the tall boy, weren't you? E equipment manager. Right. <laughs> right. Hi, Malcolm. I gotta see you, man. Take care. Thank you. 
Yeah. Uh, thanks for the pizza. Uh, word. Call me. <laughs> Trip to Indo. <laughs> uh, I'll call you, man. Bo. As your ace of swords. I set you free. I'm so sorry you're going through all this right now. It's all good, Mom. You were so bad. Call us when you get in, okay? Let us know you got there. Melvin! Have a good one. I love you too, Dad. Okay. Okay, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom right now real quick. Oh, we'll wait for you, honey. I'll probably be okay, Mom. Oh, you're right. I love you. Dumb. You're getting old, man. That's the philosophy on gray hairs. I use hair dye. <laughs> Did you get what you were looking for? I don't know. I uh, feel more screwed up than ever. Yeah, this really being alive thing will kill you. Gee, what do you think I should do? Whatever you want, man. So check it, man. If uh, if I call, are you gonna call me back this time? Ah, uh, we'll see. <laughs> hey, man. Be proud of yourself. Thanks, man. Stay up. All right. Take care. Good. Bo's gone. Now we can have some real fun. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Hey, Bo. Our non smoking policy is with the American Indian Health Risk associated with the secondary smoking exposure. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. No. 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 No, that's the worst one yet. This is me being supportive. I, I just wanted to. No, what? What? What does baleful mean? Okay, right, right. Then, then use that word. All right. Cooper. Harry. I was just cleaning out my desk, and um, I wanted to say thank you um, for the opportunity of working here over the last several years. And I'm sorry about the way things turned out here. I'm sorry about the way I acted. I can't give you your job back. I'm not asking for it back. I don't want anything back. That boy's got problems.
that's our camera? No, it's my camera. Three chip digital, broadcast quality image, and the tape stock is really cheap. Welcome to Iowa. Talent usually tells me who and what they want me to shoot at this point. Okay. Uh, well, why don't we get uh, Erica Jenkins? She she had a good game. Okay, boss. Yeah, you pl you played a great game. Thank you. You nervous about uh, being on TV? I don't know. It's supposed to be fun, isn't it? Yeah. We ready? And so a big night for senior Erica Jenkins, leading the Lady Frogs to a win. For Channel 4 News, I'm Bo Cooper. Back to you, Bob. I always wanted to say that. Back to you, Bob. Now you've said it twice. Good job. Let's get back and I'll show you how to cut this thing together. Um, is it okay if I just meet you back at the van? I'll be there in a sec. Sure. Yeah. 